What is good? Let's have some fun. It's the Fundamism Podcast with your host, Paul J. Long, and all things fun. We'll let the fun begin. Woo! What is good, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of the Fundamism Podcast. It's your boy, Paul J. Long, writing solo dolo today on the solo cast. We are brought to you, as always, by our sponsors over at charliehustle.com. I'm actually chilling right now in the Charlie Hustle conference room surrounded by amazing memorabilia. We have a signed Magic Johnson jersey. Uh, We have uh, Ken Griffey Sr. and Jr. poster together. These guys, they know sports. They know fun. They know community pride. If you're interested in learning more about Charlie Hustle, we'll visit charliehustle.com. Today, we're talking pride. Pride and confidence. I recently had a guest uh, on the Fundamism podcast by the name of Alex Como, who was in a high school um, that featured many, many different clubs, one of which was called the Happy Club. And she talked about how they, they gift people these really fun post-it notes that say really, you know, affirming things like, you're doing great, or you look fantastic, or this test does not define you, or whatever it may be. And she was talking about how she herself, somebody that appears at least outwardly to be super confident and appreciates the value that she offers the world, she said that she suffers uh, regularly from from self-confidence and that her parents would tell us that she wasn't the most confident individual. And I, I was just, I couldn't fathom that because looking at this young girl, she she seems so confident. She should be proud of all of her accomplishments and all the things that she's accomplished thus far and that she's going to, but she struggles and she doesn't see herself as everybody else. So I started thinking about Cool Runnings, one of the greatest movies of all time. And Yul Brynner was sitting in front of the mirror in front of Junior, if you recall. And Yul said to Junior, look in the mirror. What do you see? And Junior responded, I see Junior. And Yul Brenner said, look again. Do you want me to tell you what I see? And Junior said, what do you see? And Yul Brenner said, I see pride. I see power. I see a badass mother that don't take no crap from nobody. As I reflect upon that moment, it's amazing to me that what we see in ourselves and how others see us can be so different. I myself struggle from confidence issues from time to time, and I'm worried about what others are thinking of me. And people have told me my whole life that they see me as a very confident fellow, uh, borderline cocky at times, which I I think that it's important to distinguish the two. But we all struggle from some lack of confidence from time to time. So today, what I'd really like for you all to do is take a look in the mirror. Take a look in the mirror and just casually observe yourself and look not only outwardly or your physical appearance, but look inside. Write down at least five things in which you're proud of. What are you proud of? What are you proud of in terms of how you present yourself? Maybe it's the way that you look. Maybe it's the way that you make others feel. It's situations that you've been in. What are you proud of? I want you to reflect on all the things that make you, you, and all the things that make you fantastic. Growing up, I was a huge fan of the WWF and the WWE. And if you're listening to this, if you're tuning in for the first time, you probably haven't gotten all of my Ric Flair references. I absolutely loved Ric Flair. And my wife got me the best possible gift the other, uh, uh, the other day. It was for Christmas 20, 2018. Shout out to Santa, who was on the podcast in December. But she got me these amazing socks. I love, I love just showcasing who I am and the things that, that make me 
strong and what I love. And so I wear a lot of bow ties and I wear a lot of colorful socks. Well, my wife, Melissa, got me this amazing set of socks. It was Macho Man Randy Savage. It was the Ultimate Warrior, Ric Flair, and The Rock. If you smell what The Rock is cooking. Why did I love the WWE and the WWF back in the day? Everybody used to tell me it's so fake. It was so fake. Well, it wasn't, it wasn't the wrestling that I enjoyed. It was the persona and the creativity of all of these amazing people. These people that expressed a great deal of pride and confidence in their ability and what they had to offer. And that pride embodied itself in how they expressed their, their persona and what they did on the stage, which of course was the wrestling ring. And people fell in love. They fell in love with these huge personalities that, that were just so amazing and loud and at times obnoxious, but awesome nevertheless, because oftentimes we would look at these individuals and say, man, I, I wish I could be a little bit more like that. I wish I could be a little more confident. I wish I could be a little more witty. And the same phenomenon happens in the workplace or at home or when you're out and about with friends. There's always times where we look at somebody else and we say, you know, I wish I had a little bit more of that. But if we spend as much time appreciating the value that we offer and the things that we have working and the, the amazingness that we all are, as much as we spent thinking about how we wish that we had somebody else, or we wish this little flat tire on our belly would go away, or we wish that our ears weren't as big, or we wish that we were smarter, or we had more money, or we wish that we were more like Rob, our camera guy, whatever it may be. If we spent more time appreciating what we have to offer and who we are, than what we're not and who we're not, then I think that this mental, this mental health crisis that we're facing right now, where everybody is suffering from some form of depression or anxiety, it would start to, it would start to dissipate. It would start to, to, it would start to, to grow smaller. Grow smaller. He liked that? That's what she said. Up top. Ultimately, guys, all I'm saying is take a look in the mirror. Take a self-assessment. Think about what you have to offer. Think about all the greatness that you are. What are you proud of? You should be proud. Every single person on this planet has something to offer. And you're fantastic. You just have to take the time out of your day to appreciate what it is. And that is fundamentalism. Today, I challenge you. Appreciate what you are, what you have. Jot it down. Take a self-assessment. Reflect regularly. And think about that which you are prideful of. Have an amazing day, and thank you so much for tuning in once again to the Fundamism Podcast. Now go have some fun. Let's get it!